have been lucky enough to have Peter Tatchell with us this afternoon. He's achieved so much in one lifetime that you know none of us could ever hope to emulate. He has been an advocate for human rights, gay rights, democracy all over the world. So he's an absolutely fascinating uh, figure. I was very honoured to speak to the staff at Michigan de Rea today about my human rights work over the decades and to take questions and to be challenged on a few points. We had a really good discussion around some free speech issues, where to draw the line and uh, how do you balance the right of people to hold particular beliefs with the right of others to not be discriminated against. I believe the most important thing we discussed was in relation to the uh, Gay Baker case because it pit the two fundamental human rights of uh, equality and freedom from discrimination with freedom of religion and expression, which are two very important subjects in this modern day. I was really glad to be challenged over the Ashes Bakery decision and my changing stance on that question. Um, for me that's a really difficult one. Um, because on the one hand one doesn't in any circumstances want discrimination to be allowed when it comes to people but when it comes to ideas I think that's different so I make a distinction between discrimination against a person which is always wrong and discrimination against an idea where I think you know in a free society people should not be compelled by law to aid and abet ideas with which they fundamentally disagree so in the case of Ashes Bakery, uh, they weren't discriminating against Gareth Lee because he was gay. They were discriminating against the message he wanted on the cake, which was support gay marriage, a point which they disagreed with. I wish they had supported uh, the right of people to marry the person of the same sex, but they didn't. And I think in a free society, that's their right. During my lifetime, I've seen a huge extension of national and international human rights law. And it's great, but it's on paper. One of the most important challenges in the 21st century is to ensure that international human rights law becomes enforceable so that we can ensure that the perpetrators of tyranny and injustice are brought to book, that they face trial, both to punish them for what they've done, but more importantly, perhaps, to deter others from following the same path of repression. My motto is, don't accept the world as it is, dream of what the world could be, and then help make it happen.